So today we're going to learn about how to uh, achieve this shape, the doormat size shape, right? So this is basically string formatting technique. And the challenge asks us to use uh, two variables, n and m. And n is the characters, this, the, the amount of the characters in from the middle. It will start growing from the middle and to outer. And the M is how many dash, right? So, and we have a message. So let's try and implement this using for loop and some print statement. We're going to need some recipe for us to be able to achieve this shape. So let's use, uh, let's declare some recipe right here. So we have a delimiter, which is uh, this shape. So it will be dot and then this shape right and after that we have a message so which is welcome and we have a dash uh, that will be single dash and yeah so that will be our recipe and we have to split n m from the user input that will be we can use it using uh, map functions from Python library so this is map is built in we can convert the user input as a string into uh, integer so input will be split and it will turn into a list integer list right and we collect that integer in this manner so uh, the first one will be the first index zero will be taken by n and the second index which is one index will be taken by m so in this case we are given n and m so left to left from left to right so okay so now that we've got the number uh, we will use a for loop for um, the top top uh, top shape right so this part right here we're going to divide into three part top bottom and in the, uh, the middle so top right here and bottom and then uh, middle okay so the top we will have uh, we will use for loop for that and inside the for loop uh, we will be counting uh, from the middle so uh, this for loop will be it was so let's first thing first let's try and have a look how it's going to look like my print statement so as usual we will use uh, the string formatting technique we learn uh, center and what are we centering? Well, uh, we're centering a dash from a dash string, right? And with the m amount of dash. And uh, mm, sorry, we are centering uh, the delimiter, which is delimiter. Uh, so it will be times uh, times the dashes I guess dashes um, and so not not the dashes uh, from the row yeah and that will this row will be coming from the end the end space so which is why we need to put follow here for uh, row in range and then we have we can start from one because we don't want the even number and to two, n minus one and then we will uh, increment by 2 
Okay, so that way we can have delimiter times row. We'll start by one and center the dashes in the middle. Uh, from the dashes string, we will center the delimiter in the middle, right? So, which is why it will grow from the middle to outside. Okay, let's try and run this. So, object string object cannot be interpreted as, as an integer. Oh, okay. This is what. So, uh, M will be this parameter. parameter. Yes, we got it right. So uh, M is right here. How many dashes will be in this uh, parameter? And the dash, the symbol, will be on the right. OK, let's repeat that for the bottom shape. So for the bottom shape, uh, we're going to use N minus 1 here. It will start from N minus 1. Well, um, we, we want to start from odd number, right? Because we want that in the middle section, so n minus 2. And we will decrement by minus 2 and until minus 1. So this is the n, right? We will start from n minus 2 until minus 1. And we will, we will decrement the row by minus 2. Okay, let's try and see the bottom one. So, yeah, there you go. This is the top and this is the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to print the middle. And the middle is really easy because if you look at the welcome message right here, we just print the horizontal line, right? So, let's try to print that. Uh, we got the lemmeter. Uh, the lemmeter times oh no not delimiter we got a uh, message and we don't have to repeat ourselves so we just have to uh, center that so center and we will center from the dashes so m dash okay so that will do it let's try and see and yeah it worked so that's exactly what we want, right? Let's try to submit this code and now it's going to pass. So yeah, it passed and that's our answer, right? We passed all the test cases. So uh, that's for doormat.